Hello everyone. Hope you guys are doing okay. Today's video is my take on the presentation that we heard on one of my previous videos with the Momentum M400s and the Critical Mass 1.5 footers. If you guys can scroll back in case you haven't seen the video, I, I advise you to go back to that video and check it out. And basically what that was is me showing you the differences in presentations and different in, differences in tonality, to be specific, with and without the critical mass 1.5 footers. Um, and I know I did not say which presentation had the footers and which one did not have the footers. So that's what I'm going to go over today. I'm going to give you my thoughts, my take, and I want to be sure, I want to be clear about one thing. This is my personal opinion with the equipment that I have in my hands. Um, your results may vary, they might be different, and that's okay. Uh, but I'm telling you with the equipment that you see in front of you, I'm gonna give you my take on what I heard, and what I liked, and what I disliked. Okay, please keep that in mind. I am always welcoming feedback, and, um, and obviously constructive criticism as best as possible. Um, you know, remember that every component you buy, you have to be the person that likes it. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world says. It doesn't matter what your buddies say. It doesn't matter what anyone says. At the end of the day, it has to be about you. And if this component actually keeps you glued to your seat, listening song after song, and then you know you have something special in your hands. Okay? So I wanted to just make sure I get that out the way. Okay, so um, let's go over my thoughts. I'm actually writing them um, so that I am clear and as articulate as possible for you guys. Guys, so the first demonstration had absolutely no footers. And if you look at the poll that I'm posting right now, you can see how most of you felt about that presentation. Okay? As you can see, the majority of you chose presentation number one, which had no footers. The reason why I do this is because it's common, it, it's so natural for us to always gravitate to things and vote for things that we own. And I think when we just let our years really decide, that is really what matters at the end of the day, where you really are unaware of the, the components that are playing and you're really just making your decision based on what you hear regardless of the price regardless of the brand um, or any other kind of influence that you might have okay so it looks like most of you preferred the first presentation without the footers with the momentum m400s and to me that's extremely extremely interesting because when you first hear the second presentation there is it definitely sounds like there is more happening it definitely sounds like there is more liveliness if, if you will but I'm gonna give you my thoughts on that shortly let me give you my thoughts on the first presentation in my opinion the first presentation had much a much better balance it was a much better balanced presentation it was more natural and relaxed without any sense of edginess with this presentation, I can sit back and listen weeks at a time without ever reaching for the remote control. I would cue an entire playlist on Tidal and just nothing ever sounded overly processed. It was a tad warmer as well in the first presentation. Um, I never found myself looking for the remote control to turn the volume down because maybe something sounded a little too much. Um, I felt like it was the good old Dan Agustina Momentum 400 at work, which is a very natural, smooth sound that just takes you from point A to point B without any sort of inconvenience, okay? Um, yes, when you first hear the first presentation, some of you guys might say, hey, uh, I feel like it lacks the uh, that detail, that information and the sec that the second presentation has. And I would agree. Uh, I totally would agree with that. Um, there is some of that. But keep in mind that the most important thing here is not to immediately identify 
that something changed. Yes, of course, your years will immediately go and, and automatically pick up the changes in the presentation, and then we begin to say, whoa, I gained this, I gained that. But the question you need to ask yourself is, is this natural? Does, this, does that seem natural to you, what's happening, right? So the one, presentation number one to me sounded definitely more natural, as I mentioned, um, and nothing ever really jumped at me. Everything was pretty uniform, pretty controlled, um, and I really, really felt like I could just relax listening. Second presentation was the presentation with footers. Okay, As you saw on the poll that I posted, the uh, minority of you guys selected the second presentation. So that means you are actually um, a person that prefers more information, more detail, um, and that's really one of the main qualities for you that is attractive to you, right? And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But when it comes to the second presentation with footers, I definitely found more detail and information, but I did feel an overall exaggerated presentation which took away the smoothness of the momentum. Basically, one of the strengths of the Dan Agostino Momentum 400 is the smoothness. I felt like with presentation number two, with the footers, it shaved away some of that smoothness. It took the of the momentum. It took away that. Um, I also feel like, you know, I was unable to really sit down and listen comfortably here for hours. I really just couldn't do that. I always felt that, you know, I really, really try to tame things down. I try to tame and tame things down, and I couldn't get to relax the presentation. No matter what I tried, I tried different cables, I tried different power cords, and that that quality or that extra level of information or that just that I wouldn't say edginess, but this feeling of being uncomfortable never left me if that makes sense okay um that said i want to say that if you are a person who has a tendency to listen for instance at low volume right you're a person who likes to listen to music at very low volume you live in a small space um i would totally agree with you it is by far one great tweak to have because what happens is if you guys know when you turn your music down a lot of the magic begins to disappear. A lot of that tweeter extension and the projection of the tweeter into the room begins to diminish. I think when you have the footers there, it continues to still get some of that information out into the room um, and you can hear things clearer, even at lower volumes. So, of course, it is impossible, in my opinion, to get fatigue when you're listening at low volumes. I mean, just, I, I mean, unless you guys have ever felt fatigue listening to music at low volume, I've never heard of such things. So, of course, you can listen at low volumes for hours and hours and hours and never get fatigue. But I'm a person that I analyze equipment at low volumes and moderate volumes. Occasionally, I'll just let it rip and blast it to see if I get impressed. But honestly, no matter how good something sounds, no matter how clear and clean something sounds, if you blast something loud enough, you're gonna get, so your ears are just picking up loudness. Even though it may not be bright, you're picking up loudness, so you're still gonna have a short listening session. Um, again, regardless of how good a, a speaker, a, a system sounds, it doesn't matter, okay? But I personally like to, again, I also feel that if you're a person that perhaps you're older, you've lost some of the high frequency, or maybe you have some hearing damage of some sort, you had an accident, and you can't quite hear the high frequencies, because as you guys know, that's the first frequency to go as we age, um, then yes, I would totally recommend the footers. I would tell you the footers would definitely be a great addition for you, because it does add a lot more information, it makes things more apparent, okay? And uh, then, you know, overall, and I'm going to repeat myself again, overall, with the Momentum and 400s, and with my Boulder 2150s right there, the critical mass 1.5 footers have not provided me with what I consider an improvement on the naturalness and organic feeling of the presentation. 
it had quite the opposite effect. And I has I had mentioned before, it added a synthetic feeling to the presentation that just couldn't let me sit and enjoy. I just couldn't. Remember one thing. I'm the person seated here and the person who listens for hours on end. And that is something that has to be factored in because you guys only get about 15 to 20 minutes of what I hear. And then you guys shut down the video and move on with your life. Most of our years can handle that kind of presentation for 15 to 20 minutes. Any presentation for the most part for 15 to 20 minutes. But it is a, it's a totally different ball game when you sit here for two hours, three hours. Different, completely different experience. This is why I've said it repeatedly. Audio shows, audio shows should be taken with a grain of salt. They should only be taken as prelimin, a preliminary demonstration of the equipment you're hearing. I was guilty of judging, guilty, 100% guilty of judging things within a few minutes. But I'm now living with all my components a little longer. You guys know that. I'm living with them a lot longer. I've lived with the moment, with the Mephisto since August of last year. Um, I think I've had the Alexes for going on three months. And the Boulder is going on two months, the Boulder gear. So I've lived with my stuff for a few moment, for a few months now in order to understand better and connect better with the equipment. My advice to you guys, okay, my, and this, this, come, this comes from my personal experience. My advice to you guys is do not get suckered into thinking that change is always good when it comes to audio. Our brains play tricks with us all the time. And oftentimes we think that if something changed sonically, then it must be for the better. And that is actually far from the truth. It's not always the case. I'm the first one to admit. Sometimes I've heard another component that may have had more bass. And I'm like, whoa, this is so much better than the other amplifier that I had because the other amplifier was leaner sounding. This got to be better because it has more control. Then you sit there day after day after day after day and then you begin to actually realize what you're missing from the other component that this one doesn't have right then you realize well it does have more bass but it doesn't have the level of clarity that the other component you know has so then you're thinking let me go back to the other component and you're like wow this is incredible I, get, I got so much clarity now, and yes, I don't have the control, but I have more clarity. So then you sit there with that component for about three to four days or a week, and then you make the switch again to, to the other component. And again, you're impressed by the bass, but then you're thinking, which one do I really prefer? The more clear component or the one that has much more muscle in control? And that's what you have to decide. So really the way to analyze things is not just to slip them under your amplifier, whatever it is, whatever tweak, whatever cable. You really almost, and I wish you guys could do this, but I know it's very, very hard for some of you to do what I do in comparing two things at once. I understand some of you guys have to sell an item in order to buy the next thing. I get that. But really, guys, remember the first impression if you if you can take any any advice from me, the first impression means nothing, nothing. Remember that first impression is only going to let you know. Okay, it has your attention. Nothing else. That's all it does. That's all it's doing. It has your attention, but you gotta begin to sit and play with it enough to understand whether you really appreciate the new sound that you're getting or you do not. If you can't sit in front of your system for two hours, no problem, right? If you can't do that, let's just say an hour. And now that is the one indication you have the wrong equipment. You have the wrong audio gear for yourself. Matter of fact, if you right now have a system at home and you can't listen to it for more than 30 to 45 minutes, unless of course, unless of course you don't have the luxury of having an hour or two to listen, that's a different story. But if you can't listen for at least an hour, sell your stuff. You have the wrong equipment for you. Bottom line, you do. Okay? Thank you again. Next video will be about my thoughts on the presentation that I had of the Griffin Mephisto and the Momentum M400s. I'm going to give you my thoughts, my pure, my raw opinion on both amplifiers and, you know, who are these amplifiers primarily designed for? That's what I'm going to talk about. 
All right, stay tuned for more, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Please continue to follow me. I appreciate all the all the feedback and all the support that I get from you guys day in, day out. Thank you again. Take care.